Okay, this is Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Uh, it's a Windows game, originally a uh, console game. Uh, I'm running it with Wine. Uh, it, for the most part, works pretty well, or at least as well as the Windows version does. Um, I've completed the game in the actual terms of the story here. Uh, all the way through to the end. Spoilers, spoilers. Uh, so what I'm doing at the minute is going back through and collecting um, collecting these masks. So you can see over there on the right, for chapter 3 I've collected all three masks. For chapter 4 I've collected all three masks. For chapter 5 I have collected all three masks. Chapter 6, I'm missing one of the masks, although I've got 95% of the red orbs, so you won't see many of them. I will explain them if we uh, come across one. So, uh, yes, I'm playing on easy. There we go. So when I start, there will be uh, quite a bit of story. It's quite a story-based game uh, with a lot of platforming. Um, before I start, I should mention the reason I'm uh, doing a video today is that there's a uh, it parts part of the Steam summer sale. There's a flash sale on this game for seventy five percent off. So if you don't mind, uh, you don't mind playing games with wine, uh, like picking up some older games that are, uh, you know, worth experiencing. Yes, reset my save. Then this is an excellent opportunity for it. So we'll load the area. The areas are generally very pretty. Uh, a lovely, lovely uh, colour palette. Not, not the usual, um, the usual darkened stuff. Oh, that we still rate. can't see. We'll reach my community by midday. So the lady here is Trip, and the what man here is Monkey. Do when we get there. After I take the headband off. Uh, the headband break my neck, I mean. is a, uh, a slave headband which ties Go back where? the uh, monkey to trip. And that if she dies, he where will die. I? Depends where I can find food and fuel. I, I usually keep moving. You could probably stay if you wanted I'm just saying when my father hears about all you've done for me I know he'll offer you a home if that's what you want so a lot of the story is is the, uh, the relationship growing between these two main characters uh, if you haven't guessed already by the character name Monkey, this uh, the story is based quite loosely on the um, uh, Japanese actually made it. Japanese stop folk here. tale. Stop here! Stop here! This is uh, it. Immortalised as uh, Monkey Magic on uh, BBC Two on the in the eighties. So, like I said, yes, beautiful environments. My father can be a little weird about strangers, so just, so just let me do all the talking when we get there, okay? Okay. Oh, that's strange. What? Some graphical glitches. If you notice the Why hair the goes through her face. So, how do we get in? Let's keep going to the lookout post. We just need to find a radio, and they'll let us in. So. The first time I uh, I came to this area, there were a, there were a bunch of red globes around. Uh, they're all gone now. Uh, I can run around. I can jump. I have a staff that I can shoot things with. If I middle button, I have uh, a number of options, most of which aren't um, valid at the moment. 
but down here you can see the upgrades which I've mostly uh, completed now. You get an achievement for completing all of them. So I need the health extension, which is another 90,000 red globes. And health regen, which is going to be 160,000. So long way off from completing that one. I think I've completed most of the rest of them. Uh, there are other things here, like the decoy and a instruct trip to run thing, which we might get to see in action. So, having a wax lyric. Weird. Mark isn't here. He should be operating the bridge. Hello. Oh, there's a globe. There we go. Look. Mark. Mark. Anyone? Monkey, the bridge controls are up there. Okay, I'll find a way around. So, yes, having my lyrical. I shall uh, now uh, point out some of the more annoying aspects. While I am here apparently effortlessly platforming my way across the uh, across the stuff here this is basically a learn the sequence of button presses type affair great now lower the bridge for me uh, let's see So the direction it wants you to press for any particular um, particular activity is, I think I'll just lower the bridge. It's often kind of weird. Okay, let's keep going. And it doesn't it doesn't really seem to uh, correspond a lot of the time to what you might expect, and also because the camera automatically it feels moves. Feels so good to be home. I can't wait to see my father you, again. You often uh, are... Oh, see, like that. So I jumped across and then immediately turned around and ran back because the camera moved automatically as, as I was... Uh, system we got here. Why not just have turrets and guns? It's all Mark's design. He just has a thing about raising and lowering bridges. So we let him get on with it. We gotta get up there. Okay. Yeah, so we can ask Trip to operate the levers. Pull the lever. Ugh. So now the camera is insisting on staying where where it's pointing, which I'm sure they believe it's to my benefit. So I find this massively frustrating that it won't just let me pan the camera around and look where I want to look. You can, oh, you can in some situations. See now, now I'm running at angles across. So you can't just look around. It changes the camera angle while you're doing stuff, um, which is. Which is so annoying to me. And uh, a lot of the time, what? Oh, I just want to look over there. A lot of the time, what you want to do is. <laughs> what you need to do isn't, you know, it's essentially a random button press. Now when we're doing the slow paced uh, puzzling like this it's not that big of, a, big of a deal because obviously you know 
you're not it's impossible to fall off things which again is a bit frustrating sometimes when you want to jump off of something see so it's impossible for me to jump down off of that so you can't kill yourself but <laughs> there are parts of the game okay pull it There are parts of the game that uh, you have to do stuff in a hurry. The walls crumble or you're racing someone or something like that. Pull the lever. Monkey, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What I'm doing is not solving the puzzle because I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I'm just busy messing around with stuff. Now, I think, oh there's a lamp up there, alright, so because I could actually get to the staff at that point, I could pan around, but, right. So, that's the frustration. Alright, so what does that give me? Where's trip? So, what I want... It's her to come, I think. Go now. Cross it. That's the frustrations. Uh, the compensations are, like I said, it's a beautiful game. When the platforming works, okay. It, okay. it is quite fun. Leaping around, you're, you're this massively agile... Uh, so now they're on a strong person. That's odd. There's no one here oh. either. Oh well. Throw me up there. <laughs> and uh yeah, it's all quite nice. But yeah, I like I like the story. I like the graphics. Uh, I'm quite fond of the characters. Um. Oh, there we go. All right. Not one of the characters. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> what the hell was that? I don't know. That should never happen. It must have been damaged somehow. There we go. So that was me taking three guys to figure out which actual direction it wanted me to uh, press in. Watchtower. More bridges. Are these really necessary? Bring it up with Mark when you see him. He says that they're a perfect way to keep the mechs away, because it takes human intelligence to figure them out. But we think he just likes bridges. <laughs> right. So we're at the second set of bridges. I think there will be some combat in a minute, so I'm going to try and keep going. What I'm looking for is a mask, but I think I'm already missed that. I'll have to do this again later. Right. So let's play with this more complicated bridge puzzle. And we run into a wall. See what that does. Pull the lever. Yep, again with the camera angles. I 
do know that one of the masts is around here somewhere, but oh, it's near one of these. Oh, what's going on? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Bridge goes up, bridge goes down. Mark finds that kind of thing hypnotic. Trip. Yes. That's enough about Mark and bridges. So if I did that. Right, and then that's going to walk across. And then we'll use the bridge again. Ugh. And then we'll try and figure out what direction we need to press in order to run across the bridge, which will change halfway across. to come again. Crossing. And I think there'll be someone in the watchtower. There's always someone posted. Whatever's going on. Yep. Here we are in the watchtower. Impossible. With suspicious amounts of blood, blood on the floor. Come in, this is post nine. Come in, base. Are you reading me? Over. Base, come in. She's off. Slavers. And there are some bots. So gotta get to the watchtower. Let us uh Again, it's a bit awkward. There we go. There are there are special moves. Oh. There are special moves involved. I find I don't usually need to use them much. Take down. Got to the weakness. It's not them dealt with. So the combat's fairly simple. Take down the name, aren't I? Of course, because I've played the game through and leveled up quite significantly, combat. The combat now isn't that challenging. There were times before Trip, I can't hear you. where I was oh, dying repeatedly at some of these places. Now, 
part of the challenge here is figuring out where you go next. I think this might be the way. You look for glistening bits like that branch. And try and jump across to them. And use oh, and then, obviously. Because why would there we go. And then you guess the direction to get to the next thing. But like I said, when it works, it works. It's really nice. So, you've seen most of the gameplay at this point. You see, uh, see the combat, you've seen the uh, puzzling, you've seen some story elements, how they're, how they're presented, and you've seen essentially these, these beautiful environments. So, the game currently on Steam, or until six o'clock tomorrow evening is uh, three pounds seventy four which is uh, not a lot of money and I think it's totally worth that for all its flaws because of you know a great story beautiful environments and uh, yeah it works pretty well in wine for the most part uh, the control issues I think are also control issues on on uh, Windows PCs this is a uh, definitely worth spending some of your uh, steam sale budget on in my opinion <laughs>